Hi, and welcome back to DennisRC.com. Uh, here we've got the completed center console for the uh, Airwolf project, which is moving along. And basically uh, started out with the uh, uh, kit, if you will, from SSM Technik of, uh, of Germany. They got some really, really, really nice stuff. Um, this was just basically the, the uh, plastic parts, uh, the sides, um, the uh, they supplied a bottom which I didn't use. Um, the, the panel cutouts themselves, all pre-measured and cut, which made life a lot easier. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, uh, the LEDs mounted, uh, the standard wire wrap technique that we used on the main console. Um, these little knobs are just. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on those little, little itty, itty bitty knobs there. Um, those little those little knobs are really really neat. Um, uh, Basically, to paint them, I just sort of stuck them onto a piece of tape and uh, hit them with the air gun. Uh, then gave them a little coat of silver, but they're they're really nice. Uh, but these two gauges are actually operational. They're um, air pressure gauges from uh, BVM jets. Let me zoom in on those. I don't know how sharp that's going to be, but uh, they're they, they're they're actually uh, operational pressure gauges that. It will monitor uh, my pneumatic pressure for the uh, uh, main tank and uh, not sure yet either the brakes or uh, the pneumatics are going to operate the uh, winglet the the gun the machine gun extension the guns come out on a servo and then a pneumatic uh, release pushes the barrels of the guns forward um, against the spring so that constant pressure is required. Not sure if I'm going to use the second gauge for brake pressure because the uh, landing gear utilize uh, pneumatics um, in the brakes or if I'll, if I'll use the uh, second one for the for the guns. Well we'll see but uh, we've left plenty of hose to run to whatever we need to. Um, the whole assembly fits, let me go ahead and unplug it uh, there's little recesses ma machined into the front of that so that it will exactly mate to the front there, which it won't do right now because the hoses and cables are in the way. So it'll pass through, you can see on the, on the bottom of the floor of the fuselage. With, with a matching pass through on the bottom of the center console and so that sort of sits in there like that with the main dashboard up here main instrument panel so there you have the uh, the center console for Airwolf uh, another little piece done uh, while we're waiting while we were waiting for uh, the epoxy to dry on the tail so that's done and going back into its uh, little storage box here uh, until we get to the cockpit section. Uh, thanks for watching Dennis RC, and uh, we'll see you next time.